Hi everyone, I'm Elaine Quijano. Brooklyn brawlers they were. As expected, Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders came out swinging in Thursday night's debate. The Democratic rivals questioned each other's judgment and qualifications and ripped each other over everything from Wall Street to the minimum wage to guns and foreign policy. The fireworks flew just days before New Yorkers head to the polls in the state's primary. Tuesday's contest is personal for both candidates. Sanders was born in New York and Clinton was elected there. 247 delegates are at stake in the Empire State in Tuesday's contest. Here with me to talk about this are CBS News senior political editor Steve Chigaris, CBSN political contributor and founding partner of 270 Strategies, Linda Tran. We do want to disclose that several employees at 270 Strategies do some work for the Clinton campaign, but Linda does not. We also have Democratic strategist and Bernie Sanders surrogate Nomiki Konst and New Yorker.com editor Nick Thompson. All right. So panel. Um, I'm told we also have our Nancy Cortez, by the way. We don't want to leave her out. Of course, our congressional correspondent, Nancy, let's start with you. You are there in Brooklyn. Yes, of course. Last but not least, of course. Saving the best for last. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Um, but let, <laughs> let me, no, no, no. Right. <laughs> let, you say, let me get your thoughts, first of all, Nancy. This was really fireworks from the very beginning. I mean, the pressure you could feel was on these candidates. Yep. Right. The tension has been building for days, so it's no surprise that it exploded right off the bat, right in the first 10 minutes. Uh, Senator Sanders went after Hillary Clinton on her Wall Street speeches, uh, on her donations from Wall Street. He said, how can someone who takes these big donations ever uh, hold Wall Street's feet to the fire. Clinton, of course, was expecting that. She came back at him and said, look, this is a phony charge. There is no evidence uh, that I would go easy on Wall Street. Uh, look, I, I went after the big banks and I told them to cut it out. And he said, ooh, you know, they must have been really scared by that. So there was kind of a, a, a personal edge to some of the accusations. It was clear that uh, Clinton had a couple big messages that she wanted to get across. She wanted to argue that Sanders is unprepared, uh, that he's able to diagnose some of the country's problems, but hasn't thought through exactly how he would fix them. Uh, he went after Clinton, arguing that her plans just aren't bold enough, that she isn't willing to go uh, as far as he would go on the minimum wage, on climate change, on health care, and on social security. And he really tried uh, to get her to admit either that she did side with him uh, on his policy prescriptions or that she didn't. She was reluctant to get locked down and at one point towards the end of the debate even said, well, you know, it's very frustrating trying to debate with Senator Sanders because if you don't ever agree on the way he wants to fix something, then he thinks you're part of the establishment. Uh, so some bad blood, but also uh, a lot of real, honest policy disputes that are being sort of laid bear in this format. Yeah, uh, Nancy, you mentioned the minimum wage and um, control room. If we can just get SOT 7 ready. Uh, one of the most heated exchanges, in fact, so heated that at one point the moderator, Wolf Blitzer, essentially tried to call a timeout, um, was during the discussion of the minimum wage. And if we have that, let's go ahead and play that exchange for our viewers. I am sure a lot of people are very surprised to learn that you supported raising the minimum wage to 15 bucks an hour. You know, wait that's a minute, wait a minute. Wait, that's wait, just wait. not Come accurate. On. I have stood Wolf, on the debate Wolf, stage I, with Senator Sanders eight prior right, times. Excuse me. I have Wolf, said the Secretary, exact same Senator, thing. please. If the, we can the, raise it to 15 in New York or Los Angeles Secretary, or Seattle, the viewers, let's do it. If you're both screaming at each other, the viewers won't be able to hear either of you. Uh, so, Nancy, was that an unexpected moment there um, from these candidates? We knew it was going to be tense and, and aggressive, the tones from each of these candidates, given what we've seen from their campaigns in the last few weeks. Um, but that was particularly striking. Right. This was really the first Democratic debate that approached the decibel level of your typical uh, Republican debate this year. They were really, uh, frankly, yelling at each other for a good portion of the debate. And that's because the stakes here in New York are so high. They were so eager to make their points. Uh, Bernie Sanders is trying to turn this race around in a hurry. Uh, he really wants to at least catch up to Clinton, if not overtake her in her home state 
candidate to prove that he still has a shot at the nomination. Uh, Clinton, on the other hand, would love to deliver a kind of knockout punch to Sanders here and be able to go forward and say, oh, yeah, sure, he had a string of wins in the Midwest and the West, uh, but I am the true front runner uh, and, and everything's looking up for me from here on out.